the butt bite, the best bite. All right. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Your guy is just out here craving a chicken souvlaki pita sandwich, all the fixings, fresh tzatziki, and maybe some fries inside <laughs> the wrap. He's hungry for it. We're going to get it. We're going to, yep, and we're doing it. Process the chicken into chunks, manageable bite-sized chunks, and now we're going to make it tasty, flavorful. So we're going in with some crushed garlic. We got oil, canola. We got a squeeze of lemon. We got pepper. We've got salt, onion powder, basil, oregano, and a little bit of shawarma seasoning. And we spin that up. I'm gonna air fry these for like 15, 20 minutes at 400. For a saucy guy, the sauce, the tzatziki is the most important part for me, I would say. Even though everything's crucial, tzatziki is very, very crucial. So. We are going to skin this cucumber, just shave it off and just get the meat of the insides of the cuke, the flesh. Also, we're gonna half it down the middle and with a spoon, we're going to remove the seeds where most of the moisture is because we don't want our tzatziki to be too runny and watery. So we take out the seeds and we just keep this part. And then I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna grate it down into fine cucumber grating stuff. Cuke's done, we just need a little rough chop on our bushel of pulled dill sprigs. Gently pulled them off the stem and now we just gently give it a rough chop because we don't wanna bruise the herb. But we also don't want full on little trees in our mouth either, so. This is what we're doing. We just process the dill nice and gingerly and tenderly with loving care. Soft hands. Slow hands. Na, 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 na. That's a good song. Very sexual. Tzatziki time. So we're gonna go, I don't know, cup, cup and a half, sewer cream. Heavy squeeze of lemon. Oh, there's a seed in there that I didn't get out. Two seeds, three seeds, four seeds. Everybody gets a seed. A little more lemon. I like it real bright, real acidic, real bright. Pop in the mouth. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna garlic mine up a little bit. We got our fresh cuke. Of course, the dill, the tender dill. Pinch of salt to make things pop. Maybe we go completely off the reservation and sprinkle in some feta right into the tzatziki sauce. Why not? And then we whip. Looking good, nice and thick. And we gotta see where we're at. I have to take a taste test. What do you know? It's amazing. Bright, fresh, clean, right amount of salt. Even the cheese gives it a bit of salt. Amazing. All right, y'all, that chicken is all set. Very nicely, beautifully cooked. Okay, this is gonna be an ode to Quan Tran. We're doing it Order 69 style. <laughs> We're gonna wrap it up proper. So basically maybe three quarters of it in the foil. Heavy tzatziki. Oh, don't move around too much on me now. Spread it all around. Onions. Lettuce, got our tomato, our chunks of chicken, more tzatziki in the middle, and our fries. Sprinkle that with the feta. There it is. Two perfect homemade souvlaki gyro pita type things. All right, order 69. This is uh, this one's for Quan. He always does like the prep stuff with uh, like the paper bags and up the takeout plates and stuff. So this is kind of that takeout wrap. All right, I'm so excited for this. I just have water today, still in the Timmy Ho's cup, of course. 
but I'm so ready for this. These are loaded with tzatziki, but I brought an extra sauce on the side because you know it, that could be required. But I'm ready to get into this because I made these earlier, like in the day, and then I went out and did stuff, and I like starved myself for this. I'm fasted. First and only meal for the day. And uh, these are just so high on my crave. Like, I just was thinking about these for days, so... Let's go ahead and get this. So excited. Mm. Oh, yeah. So fresh, so good, so saucy on my face. I would say this, as a as a food item, ranks very high on some of my one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. Tzatziki sauce is just amazing. The brightness, the freshness, that dill. It's just such a clean, fresh tasting uh, style of food. Oh yeah, so creamy. The bite from the onions, acidity from tomato, cannot go wrong. So good. I'm also extra jacked because after this, I'm finally watching the new Batman. I have a site that has like all the new releases as they come out. And most things come out in HD or standard definition pretty quickly. But some are always, they take longer. And this this Batman has taken so long. I've just been checking it every day. Like, don't give me a cam. Don't give me a cam. And every time it's cam. But today we finally have a standard definition one. I've heard nothing but good things about this movie. I've always liked the Batman movies. And I like Robert Pattinson, Pattinson because full transparency, I was Team Edward. I definitely got sucked into the Twilight series and I did like them. Your guy likes some cheesy, corny stuff sometimes. Uh oh, we're getting to the butt end. Oh, it's getting sloppy. Mm. So I'm gonna put the lights down low couple candles sit back try to relax pop that on take it in and hope it's amazing I light candles every night 
three tea candles to be exact. I also have a rock salt, like Himalayan rock salt lamp that keeps it real low and chill as well. Round two on another corny show front, Temptation Island, the new season. It's back, baby. And I love that show. The social dynamics and the psychology always keeps me entertained. present moment though I'm a little stressed out however I think YouTube's having like an outage or like a shortage or an outage something's happening but like I can't open like my side profile to get to my YouTube studio and stuff I looked it up on the internet it seems like people are stressing so I think it's just on their end but like I'm always like uh <laughs> please don't disappear channel <laughs> Man, these are amazing. Should we do a stupid saucy bite though? I think so. Right there. Real tzatziki. Mmm. The dill explosion. This is a definite sellable. I could say. Just so fresh and so clean, clean. Another saucy one. My city just got a rage room where you go break random shit. You get to just rage out and it's all cathartic. I think I'm gonna go rage. Break stuff. It's just one of those days. Limbisk. I've always been, I've seen them before, like on the internet and shit. I've always been interested to actually go check one out. to see if it feels good as a therapy. I almost guarantee it will. The butt bite. The best bite. All right. Feels kind of healthy-ish. 
and sitting perfect. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my little evening here with the Batman, and uh, I hope you do something similar as well that you enjoy. So until the next one, you know to do, eat good, live well, stay true.